So congratulations to the Black Fern 17 Lonsdale Cup winners for outstanding contribution in Olympic and Commonwealth Games. Noah Williams, <laughs> Tyler Nathan, well congratulations to you both because you're the ones that get to be here and, and hold the glory. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Niall, if you look back on this year, what stands out? How can you even pick a standout moment? <laughs> well, um, I guess uh, one of the moments that, that does stand out for me, um, I've spoke about it earlier on, was uh, in the Commonwealth Games final. Um, I was obviously playing Australia in Australia, extra time, and um, there was one moment during that game where it kind of, um, I think a knock-on happened and, you know, everyone's kind of like, oh, is this the turning point where, where we don't win or <laughs> we do win? And um, I remember quite vividly hearing a chant go up in the crowd and it was Kiwis, Kiwis. And honestly, I got goosebumps on the field and I just was like, yep, yeah, we're going to do this. And to be in Australia, but hear our supporters, our family, friends in the crowd supporting us, it was just like, yep, yeah, this is us. Tyler, when Kelly hit that gap in extra time... <laughs> You, you, you probably don't have time to think about it, but were you like the rest of us who were like, just go? Well, actually, I wasn't actually at the stadium. I got, oh, you were injured. I got injured in the warm-up, so I was actually in the back of an ambulance on the way to hospital um, in a neck brace, just lying on my back, and then um, Nin from the NZ Olympic Committee was just relaying updates to me constantly. So here I am just freaking out, like, are they winning? Are they losing? And then, then I heard they gone into extra time and all this kind of stuff. So I was just like, what's going on? And then I found out that... Kelly had run 80 metres, like gassed everyone, scored a try, and I just was so emotional. I just broke down crying in the back of the, the ambulance. And then I just remember watching the game the next day. And even though I knew we won, I still was like, my heart was racing yeah. the whole time. And yeah, I was just so proud of their achievements and what they were able to do on that field. What's it like seeing that try? We've, we've seen it up here on the big screen a couple of times tonight. Nobody ever gets sick of watching it. When you watch it, what do you think? You just see us. Like, our faces yeah. just lit up, like just with like, a massive smile. And just it just takes you back to that moment moment and you, you still get goosebumps to this day. Niall, what makes the Black Fern Sevens team so special? I guess uh, one word, sisters, um, it, and like we genuinely mean that. Uh, we're, we're not just saying, oh we're sisters because we're called the Se Seven Sisters. We actually care about each other um, on and off the field. We're, we're sisters on the field but we're actually really good mates off the field too and I think that bond and that mutual respect for each other and um, for our management too and um, we're just so tight-knit that we don't stand for any um, any rubbish to come in our circles you know we just block all that out and um, yeah we just have each other's back 100% it's just real cliche but it's the <laughs> honest truth. <laughs> when you see the names on that trophy that you're, you and your sisters are now going to be alongside what um, what does that mean and, what, and what, how does that feel for, for you guys and, and your team as a whole? It's such a privilege, eh? I mean, when I first started with the Seven Sisters, I remember going into uh, Millennium and I was saying to her, look, there's Valerie Adams. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, she trained her. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like trying to get her. And you know, her name's on this trophy. And then I seen the, another week, Lisa Carrington. I'm like, oh my God. And her name's on this trophy. And now to have our names next to them, it's just, it's massive. You know, you always, we get a lot of trophies from around the world, but there's none quite like a one that's your own people. Uh, recon rec recognising you for your achievements, yeah. You pretty much can't stop winning at the moment. I think, that's, <laughs> I think 38 or 39 in a row going back to um, the Japan Sevens and mm -hmm. all three well, Gold Coast <coughs> and the, the Rugby World Sevens World Cup. How do you keep pushing yourselves and keep improving, Tyler, that you know, there's a lot, going to be a lot of expectation on you going to Tokyo 2020 and all those other mm -hmm. teams are going to want to, to finally tip you up? Yeah, so it's something that we talk about constantly and it's a big thing, it's about not getting complacent. You know, we may be at the top at the moment, but there are, there are those teams that are gunning for us constantly and so we know that we can't let anything mm. slide. You know, we've got to go back home, we've got to put in the hard work, even over the Christmas period. We get a couple of weeks off, but, yeah. you know, we're still going to be training hard and working hard for each other because at the end of the day, you don't want to let your sister down um, when you go back out onto the field. And it, yeah, it's been an incredible, incredible year for us and one that we hopefully hopefully can continue into the next year. Well, congratulations to you two and, and the rest of your team and all your support crew. It's richly deserved. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> 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 and just finally, all the fans watching here on Facebook Live, sending you wishes uh, and best luck. What do you want to say to the fans? Uh, just thank you so much for your support over the years. It Honestly, it means so much to us. Uh, hopefully, you can all tune into the Hamilton Sevens in January where we'll make our home soil debut and we'd love to see everyone down there. And this one is for you guys. Thank you. you. <laughs> Bang on. Yes, awesome. Thank you so much. Cool. I can't